Wow, what a beautiful day. Hi, centipede. Who's that? Who called me? I'm here. I'm snail. Oh, snail, what's up? You're going to search for food so early today. Usually you go when the sun rises high on the mountains. How did you know that? I see you pass by here every day. I've known you for a long time, but I only got to say hello to you today. Can we be friends? With me? <laughs> you are legless and slow. Why do you think you can make friends with me? That's true. I'm legless and slow. But what does that matter to our friendship? What does it matter? I don't want to make a friend with someone who is weaker than me. I honestly just wanted to make friends with you. Every day I live here alone. It's really lonely. All right. I will agree to be your friend, but on one condition. What condition? We are going to do a running contest. If you win, I will make friends with you. Running contest? <laughs> well, if you don't want to race me, then that's it. Don't bother me anymore. Okay, I agree. But we will run down on that slope, okay? Okay. Let's start. Whoever reaches that pine tree first will be the winner. I agree. I won! Hmm. So you won. Not yet. We have to do it one more time. Oh, what do you want to compete? Making medicine. If your medicine is better, then I will agree to be friends with you. I give you one day. Making medicine? <sighs> hey, buddy. Centipede. How's it going? Did you make my medicine yet? Oh, uh, so, where is your medicine? I made it, and I'm holding it in my mouth. My medicine is really good. If I bite anyone, they must die. Really? Really? Yes, show me your medicine quickly. Otherwise, you will lose and we won't be friends. I'm done. I don't have any medicine recipe. Do you accept defeat? Where is medicine? Medicine... Medicine... <coughs> this? Let me see... Oh, oh, it's so painful! Oh, I lose! Oh, your medicine is really scary! Oh, so painful! I did not expect my saliva is that scary. Centipede has to lose. See, you keep looking down on our snail species. We are as good as you are. Do you still want to compete? From now on, I don't dare to look down on you. The Cat and the Stork Oh, there are a lot of fish in this stream. We could build a dam, scoop water out and catch the fish. What do you think, Stork? Don't you see my white feathers? If I go down there to scoop water out, it will ruin my feathers. Wow, there really are a lot of fish down there. I'm going to go down there and steal some. Did you change your mind about helping me to catch some fish? I just wanted to see how many fish you can get, but without doing the difficult and dirty work myself. So, you're going to try and steal my fish? What a lazy stork. You want to have good food, but without getting your white feathers dirty? I think that I will teach him a lesson. Mm. Ah. Ah. 
Oh, 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 oh. Cat, you've hurt me. How could you do this to me? I am going to tell Uncle Bear you'll regret this. Uncle Bear, please help me. I've been working hard building a dam to catch some fish since the morning. The cat hasn't helped me, not even once. But when I wasn't looking, he tried to steal my fish. And more than that, he hit me for no reason. <laughs> okay, Stork, I will help you out. That's him! Okay, you wait here, I will ask him. Did you hit the stork? He didn't do anything to help me build the dam, and then he flew down and stole my fish. Is it true? No, it's not true. He is the one who stole my fish. Hey. So, I think that you should go inside that cage, in case the cat gets angry and wants to teach you another lesson. He has very sharp claws. Uh, but, but, you are here, he won't dare do anything. You should still go inside the cage and wait. Well, nowhere to run now, Stork. You are so lazy. You are only good at eating food that you steal from others, and not doing any of the work yourself. You stole Cat's fish? And you lied about it, and blamed him for your mistake. How many fish did the cat give you to say this? What did the cat give you so that you would be mean to me? <laughs> be quiet. I stood behind the tree and witnessed everything. You are cruel. If you built the dam and scooped water out yourself, how come your feathers are still so clean and white? I... I... To teach you a lesson, you must stay in this cage for three days and three nights without any food. After that, you must promise that you will go and search for food yourself. <laughs>